This is the Fathom 2 by Giant. Comes in at $12.99 Canadian. I haven't weighed it yet, but that will be here in a second. Uh, this is kind of my first impression of the bike. It's actually not bad for the price. I mean, dropper post, hydraulic brakes. What else could you want? This is a small, so if you look at the geometry, you can tell a little bit. Be a little small for myself. Isn't really a review, more of a first look. SR Sun Tour uh, Radeon forks, I believe. That's what it looks like. Maxxis tires. 180, 160 in terms of the rubber size. Giant connect bar, standard on most giant bikes. Quite long levers. Uh, definitely a two finger lever. If I was riding this bike, I would push everything into the center a little bit more. That's just a setup thing, not a uh, downfall of any part of the bike itself. Giant connect saddle, again, standard. But for the price, it's not a bad bike at all. The Fathom, if you're not aware, is a slacker uh, hardtail trail bike. So you take a little more aggressive terrain on it than you could say on a Talon or ATX or more entry level uh, cross country bike. Giant hubs, all that fun stuff. Let's give you some uh, close up looks, shall we? Bike away. All right, so let's weigh this thing. Since I'm holding it, I'm not getting an accurate reading, but I'm getting about 30 pounds or so. Kind of between 29 and 30. Now it's not all, not that bad actually, being 30 pounds. This is a aluminum bike, and it is a step down from the top level, so you expect it to be a little bit heavier. But I would think it'd be quite uh, quite similar in, in weight. Something you could do to cut some weight out of this bike would be to make it tubeless. The wheels are an alloy double wall, so they're not tubeless uh, ready, but you could buy a tubeless kit and uh, make these tires tubeless anyway. It does have a lock out on the fork, which I didn't explain a second ago. Um, and it's also pressurizable, I believe, here. Yes, yeah, so you can put some air into it, pressurize it to your weight, which is a huge benefit for everybody. Not just me, but anyone. Anyway. Having a bike pressurize your weight makes a huge difference. Not much else to say about this bike. I hope you guys like it. I'll try to cut it to some nice little music or whatever and uh, give you guys a nice little preview to this bike. I can't really review it because I can't ride it. It is crappy weather outside, it's raining, it's not my bike, it's actually a sold bike. Yeah, looks sick. Peace out guys.